the journey begins to Kokomo. And it's miles and miles and miles of pretty much nothing. And joining me in the vlog today is my lovely wife, Mrs. Rubel. Say hi to the audience, Mrs. Rubel. Hi, everyone. <laughs> so we're going to Kokomo. There was a Beach Boy song with that name. Do you remember that? Well, of course. And the city of Kokomo could not keep a sign that says, Welcome to Kokomo for, like, I don't know, a year. They would put them up and they would be stolen right away. It is a gray day here in Indiana, which is, well, <laughs> pretty much how most spring days are in Indiana. I think people are like vampires when the sun comes out. Ah, it burns, it hurts. <laughs> right? But uh, anyhow, to make things worth it, Cindy here thought it'd be fun to show you the countryside. I don't know why. Okay, do I turn here? Yes, I turn here. Wow, Bob Evans, look at the place. There's a school bus over there. One of the reasons why I think Americans get overweight is because there's so much good food available, like, everywhere. Should I went to Wabash. Oh, you want to go to Wabash? I do. You don't want to eat here? No, this is fine. We can go to Wabash. Heck, that'd probably even be better. I think it would. All right, well. There was a perfect place, but it's up to you. Well, no, we can go to Wabash. Okay. I'm good. All right. Never mind. Why am I vlogging this? <laughs> I didn't know you wanted to go to Wabash. To show how indecisive we are. We are very indecisive. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. This was a total waste of, uh, well, can't say it's a waste of film, right? Because it's all digital and stored on a memory card. Well, that was an interesting, never mind. <laughs> and now we're at the right Bob Evans. You'll notice most of this walk so far has been looking out through the windshield of my car. Oh, man. See, this one's even more crowded than the one back in Huntington here. I know, but that's because they have better food. It's the same stuff. No. Yes, no. it is. No. Yes, it is. <laughs> it comes in a big box that says Bob Evans on it from the factory and it all tastes the same. Well, then it must be the service, honey. You think? Mm-hmm. No. Oh, that's a carry-out. Oh, watch this. See, we, we're we going to have to wait for a while to eat. There's going to be a wait because you wanted to come here. <laughs> <coughs> Maybe not. It might not be that bad. There we go. There we go. You look really good. What you gonna have for breakfast this time? Biscuits and gravy. <laughs> Bacon. You're so predictable. I know. Uh, all right. I know what I like. Do you? Uh huh. Biscuits and gravy. Biscuits and gravy. That'll make you fat. Man. Huh? I know. I know. It's pancakes and sausage gonna make me fat too. I like. Didn't have to eat for a week after all this. There's your biscuits and gravy. I know. You've been dying for those. I know. They look delicious. Let me have them. Hurry up. It has to be really, really bad for you. No. Bacon, sausage, gravy. <laughs> Cindy. <laughs> oh, well. How do you metabolize? You do. You're, you can just metabolize that like no tomorrow. Nervous energy. Nervous energy? Got it. There are four seasons in Indiana. Almost winter. Winter. Still winter and road construction and we love road construction what are you doing there buddy keep on your own side of the road that's because i am the queen <laughs> never forget it yeah so yeah so sydney and i do a podcast every uh every weekend called the queen and i it's kind of a marriage humor comedy weird thing we do it's our it's our thing and so i call her the queen but she is your highness <laughs> That was strange, seeing a truck coming straight at you. I guess I can get over now, huh? I hope. Nice, nice, nice. This is Grissom Air Force Base over here. It's a uh, museum for old airplanes. It's kind of a cool place to go through. This used to be known as Bunker Hill Air Force Base at one time. And it was a strategic air command base. Uh, so they carried nuclear weapons here. 
and they also kept the uh, what's called the doomsday plane here. This is a airborne command post for the President of the United States in case of a thermonuclear war. And there were two of them. They were all white, and they uh, they had guards around them 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And now, thanks to the budget cuts and all that, it's now kind of a, a privatized industrial park. Uh, there's a Air National Guard unit out here, and also there's a federal prison that's uh, coming up here on the right. But uh, my mom and dad used to have friends that lived out here that were, in the, that were in the military when I was a kid, and I used to spend a lot of time out here on the Air Force Base. That was probably one of the reasons why I joined the Air Force when I was young, uh, because I had a lot of exposure uh, you know, being out here on the air base and knowing different people in the service. And there's the prison. It's a shame. Kind of a soldier. That's a, that's a federal penitentiary right there, what it looks like. Well, we've made it. We're in the city of first. That's what they call Kokomo, the city of first. First of all, I'm not sure. <laughs> uh, no, uh, Kokomo claims to invented the first car which we all know is a bunch of bullshit because that's not true. Some guy named Elwood Haynes. And Elwood uh, had a factory here in town and made the Haynes Apperson car. I think they call it the Jackrabbit or something. And uh, let's see, the first collapsible lifeboat or something like that. That's what they claim. I don't know. This first is Ponderosa. First Ponderosa, which is a steakhouse and a pretty... Not very good one at that. Oh, buddy boy. Huh? Yeah, Bailey. <laughs> Hello, Bailey. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Oh, I can sing that's what that's there. What you doing, huh? Same <laughs> video. How you doing? Just fine. Yeah? Uh-huh. You sure? No. <laughs> oh, there you go. Good old Highland Park. A park, Maybe up this way, Bruce. A park designed to keep people out. <laughs> Well, we'll see. No, maybe you can only maybe you can just go one way and turn around, and come back the other direction. They sure have messed this place up, though. Yeah, they, they really. Now, see, they sell sandwiches and stuff in here now. Oh, do they? Okay. This is how you're supposed to go, I guess. Up here to see Big Ben. Is he supposed to be the world's biggest steer? Is that what? Yeah. Is that what the deal is? Ah, okay. That's the biggest bull's butt you'll ever see. Old Ben. Look at the size of that. He was a steer. Thing was huge. That was one bunch of hamburger. Old Sycamore Stump. Thing is huge. They used it for a telephone booth, too. And what city would be complete without his own cannon? I'm taking my mom and my wife shopping for a little bit. My kind of store, fresh and frugal food. <laughs> See anything that you want yet? No. Not a thing? Not yet. They like some cool stuff here, though. Uh-huh. Our prices will make you Google interesting. Great Huntress is stocking. Well, I like for things to jump out. If it doesn't jump out, I don't like it. She is in her environment right now. And it's time to get new, uh, what do you call that, dear? Blanket? Bedspread, uh, huh? Bedspread. It's called a bedspread. Right. Bedspread, got it. Well, I don't see anything that's jumped out, do you? Well, there's a whole wall full of this stuff. There's got to be something. That's okay. I am slow. <laughs> no, well. <laughs> All right. Question. PC or Xbox gaming? PC or console? Mac. Everybody knows that's not a real computer. Now, come on. That's where I play my Tetris. True. <laughs> so tell me, why do you prefer PC gaming over Xbox gaming? <laughs> Confess. Oh, you're so stupid. PC Mastery Shopper. I prefer PC gaming. <laughs> there you have it, folks. So I'm not exactly a big fan of shopping. And 
Believe it or not, my wife's not either, but my mother, holy God. That woman wants to go up and down every single aisle and look at every little thing. I told her if we stayed there much longer, I'd qualify for Social Security. My God, that woman can shop and shop and shop. Where's me out? Well, we've left Kokomo and we're on our way back home. Mission accomplished, what do you say? <laughs> I, I can't believe, watching people shop, my mom, up, up and down every aisle in the place. I don't get that. I, I'm not that kind of a shopper. You know, I just, I know what I want, and I walk in the store, I get it, pay for it, and leave. I don't see what the entertainment value is of going to the store. Do you? Well, with your mom and other people like her sometimes, they get lonely. And so just going to the store and just looking around is their form of entertainment. Wow, listen to how loud this road is. Oh, I know. It's like, well, it's a concrete. Why did, you know, they make roads out of concrete and rubber, you know, just makes a heck of a racket. We'll wait till we get on the choir the road. Take a chance, she says. Oops. <laughs> Give a little bit too much go-go juice. Um, da num da num da num da num da num I guess you go up there and you turn when the cars are turning and you take pays your money and you take your chances. That's right. You follow everyone else. <laughs> I mean, how hard can it be? I mean, it's Huntington. Exactly. We're going to turn here on Cherry Street. Huntington has got some of the biggest houses I've ever seen. It does have big houses, doesn't it? Uh-huh. I oh, don't well, know that this we'll... This goes, oh, see, this is a part of Huntington. Look at that. What is that, police station? Kokomo had one of those. Well, I mean, everybody's got a police station, but... <laughs> I mean a police station that looks like a, I don't know, castle or something like that? City offices, police East department. East 24, that's, that's... That's the police department. Well, it's kind of cool looking. Kind of a neat downtown. Hopefully I didn't, you know, violate any traffic laws. I hope not. <laughs> All right. It's different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is Huntington, Indiana. Hey, there's a car just like ours. Whoa. It's even dirty like mine, too. No place like home. Hey, there's Myrtle, the duck. Myrtle, where are you going? Myrtle. <laughs> Where's Henry at? Eh. Oh, nothing like being back home after a long day on the road. I think we're going to have a spectacular sunset tonight. Sunday, and today is the day that uh, we record our podcast. Well, actually, we do it on Saturday, but we were in the Kokomo Saturday. So we're going to record our podcast early this afternoon and then edit it on the new MacBook Pro. And there it is on a stand. I got to tell you, I really love it. I would say that it's about five times faster than my 2010 MacBook Pro. So yeah, uh, my wife and I have a podcast called Queen and I, and we talk about marriage and relationships and all that kind of stuff. I'm gonna lose my man card if I'm not careful. I probably know more about relationships than a lot of people. Maybe not, who knows. But anyhow, uh, so I edited it uh, using um, Adobe Edition, which is a pretty cool application and it's, uh, as I've got some uh, macros all set up, so right after we load that into uh, the uh, Mac MacBook Pro, other than uh, fixing some ums and, you know, you get these clicks and pops with your lip smacks with your mouth. I clean all that up out of there, upload it to Libsyn, create an uh, article on my blog, on our, our website, cfpn.tv, and then uh, the RSS feeds push it out. It's, it's pretty cool. And after that, I'm going to take Cindy to lunch over at Arnold's. It's a 1950 style diner. It's really cool. We're going to try to take you there as part of the vlog, weekend vlog. My cast today is Sadie. She's our sound engineer. Do you think the mixer's set just right, Sadie? Those are the best feeling XLR cables I've ever tried. <laughs> I'm really going to have to end up replacing them before I know it. Okay, thank you, Sadie. I think everything is working a-okay. 
Sadie, <laughs> apparently this is not meeting with her satisfaction. <laughs> There's something deeply disturbing about this cat, Cindy. I know. Say. Sadie. What are you doing? Sadie. <laughs> Okay, old girl. Don't chew on them. Thank you, Sade. That's good. There you go. <laughs> it's okay. They're they're working perfect. Thank you. Here we are at Arnold's Rock Restaurant, man. It's pretty cool. It's a 1950s theme uh, restaurant. So yeah, isn't that cool? That car on top of the roof, and it really looks really cool at night. So this is the inside. Elvis, old time pinball machine. <laughs> Mary Monroe. It's pretty cool. What you think, Cindy? Pretty cool. Cool. Oh, you know, I remember these. That first Aldi. gas station, I would recall I had something like that. Well, I think it was a golf station or something. I like that. The fan was a hula. That was really cool. Okay, your Elvis Presley shot. I don't get the gun. And the block. And the that is, that is cool. We need one of those for the house. Isn't it? Okay. <laughs> so what do you think? What do you, what do you want? I don't know. I have not had time to look at the menu. Do you like a hamburger? Well, that's my last choice. Oh. Then. oh. <laughs> You're more of the hamburger guy. I am. I love that old time jukebox. I have to get one of those for the house, too. That is neat. We can do it. There you go. That was uh, like Rosie the Riveter from World War II or something. Now that is a milkshake machine right there. Isn't it neat? They've got some cool stuff in here. That is a milkshake. And look, there's extra. <laughs> and there's a happy wife. <laughs> well, we're sharing the milkshakes. Are we? Yes, we are. <laughs> okay. Oak shakes and hamburgers. American classics. That is a sandwich. <laughs> There's no way I'm be able to eat all this, but I'm going to sure try. Well, I hope you enjoyed this week's vlog. Cause man, we had a good time making it, didn't we, Cindy? <laughs> yes. I think I'm going to explode from all the food I just ate in there. Oh. It's a pretty good deal. So. Well, and, and and what was the total cost? Which uh, wasn't bad. No, it was like 19 bucks for the two of us. Right. But I mean, it's a tremendous amount of food. There's some way more food you could possibly eat. <laughs> so remember, if you like these weekend vlogs that we're doing, like these vlogs, like these videos. Cindy, anything you want to say? No. All I'm right. full. <laughs> Talk to you later. <laughs>